Good morning kids. How are you all? So let's start with our first day of maths class. So kids, I have something for you today. Chocolates. But the problem is this. I have one big chocolate and a small one. I know you all would love to take the bigger chocolate, right? I promise you all that once you all will get back to school, I'll give you big chocolates. So similarly, I have few more objects which are of different sizes and you would love to take them. So let me show you. What is this? A ball? One orange ball? This again is a ball. It's white colored ball. But there is difference in their sizes. Orange ball is big ball. White ball is small ball. Right? So, let me keep it here. Now, on the screen also, you can see two elephants. Mama elephant is a big elephant. You all can see this? Right. The small elephant is a baby elephant. So you can clearly make the difference between the big size and the smaller size. Like you all are small right now. So when you will grow up, you will become big and strong. Correct? I'll show you one more example of big and small. On the screen you can see two dinosaurs. They are of different colors. One is a yellow colored dinosaur and the other dinosaur is green colored dinosaur. You can tell me like which one is big? Yes, yellow dinosaur is big dinosaur and the green dinosaur is small. So till now Whatever objects I have shown you, these are two. We can clearly sh tell you the difference between big and small between two objects. So now what will happen uh, if you have more than two objects? What words you will use? I will show you. Like now I have three balls. Two balls I, sh I have sh already shown you. Now the third ball has joined the party, the yellow ball. This ball is even smaller. So when we have to compare the sizes in a group, what words we use? This is the smallest ball in the group, right? Then this is a smaller ball, right? But what is this? This ball is the biggest ball in the group right so when we compare the sizes when we compare the size of the objects then we use words like bigger smaller or biggest or the smallest so i'll show you one more example for this i have rings of different sizes See, blue coloring, then you have green coloring, this is little smaller, in this blue is big, this is green one is small. But if I add more rings to it, red and yellow, so then can we compare the sizes of these four rings? Can we compare these? Kids, can you compare the sizes? Yes. Now this blue ring is the biggest and the red one is the smallest. Okay. So this way we compare the sizes when we have objects in the group. Now kids, what you have to do at home? You will collect two leaves. Alright, only two leaves. One would be the big leaf and the other would be the small leaf. You will paste these two leaves in your maths notebook neatly. You can take help of your mother if you want and uh, you will label them as 
big leaf and a small leaf. I hope you are clear with the concept of big and small and do the activity as I have told you. Thank you.